Here's a bit of a different one. This is a Samsung S10 Plus that's taking forever to charge. When I put it into my amp meter here that measures what's going on between the charger adapter and the phone, you can see that it's not drawing uh, over one amp, which it should at least be five volt at one amp. I'm also occasionally getting this message when I plug it in. The charger port or dock, whatever you want to call it, is a really common part to fail in these. This is a little tiny um, charger port for the S10 Plus, and we're going to change that one today. As always, we've got to heat up the phone to loosen up that water-resistant adhesive. With incredible dexterity, we can remove the original back glass and keep the original adhesive intact without any damage. Next, we've got to remove all these screws down here. Like always, there are so many details in this that I want to share that I also try and cut out. So if you do enjoy this repair, like and follow for part two. Samsung S10 Plus charging slow part two. We remove the 16 screws here from the back and the wireless induction pad plus this uh, loudspeaker so we can get to all these tiny bits here. We always start with disconnecting the battery first, and then all these other small parts. All the tiny parts like the front facing camera, a couple of screws there, and the SIM tray allow this logic board to be lifted up. And the plan is to remove that charge port with this charge port. Now it's really hard for me guys to show you inside my microscope, but can you see that bit of green? That is corrosion. Now this part just doesn't disconnect from the logic board. We actually have to heat it up to about 350 degrees. That will soften the alloy that holds it in together or the solder is what we call it. That will then be able to remove and then we can reverse that process with this one. Like and follow for part three. Samsung S10 Plus ch slow charging issue part three. Probably the final part. Let's get it. Let's put some flux on here. Flux start. I can't show you this next part because I only have two hands and I've got that heat gun to remove that dock but here it is removed you can see that's the old one and we're about to replace it oh with this one just here before we do that i've just got to repair these pads here just so my dock goes on there nice and clean and there's no lumps or bumps from the old solder looking schmick now we want to reverse that by putting that new dock down and heating it up new dock is on now it's all cleaned up ready to go get put back in we've just got to reverse everything we did at the start and we'll be done before I put it completely back together, I'm just going to test it again with that device that we use in part one. Like and follow for more tech repairs like this.